Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here um, going rogue again. I did a previous pour that um, I was happy with, but it was a test pour for a bigger canvas. So instead of scraping it off, I decided to um, pour some of these absolutely delicious colours, which are um, turquoise, uh, phalo blue, uh, metallic gold, a colour called Tahiti and a mint and they just worked beautifully together so I just wanted to push the boundaries again continue on from that previous test pour and see what I could do with these gorgeous colours so I'm very very happy with these colours so I thought I've got to get something gorgeous out of them so I will let you um, go through the motions of watching me tilt and working out how I'm going to approach my next step to this particular piece. So what I've found is adding burnt umber to these kind of blues and gold is absolutely stunning. Burnt umber goes beautifully with blues. So if you're um, in a dilemma and not knowing what colours go with what, I can really recommend trying these light blues, dark blues, pale uh, turquoises and gold and then add in burnt umber it really is quite striking but this particular time it's kind of looking all a bit dark but as you'll see this one really comes to life with what my um, crazy brain wants to have a go at next as you can see when you actually put these particular swipes on their side they could absolutely be perfect evening landscapes looking across water or reflection swipes of a city they, they work so well um, for so many different techniques and that's for sure so yes with the swiping finished i will just grab my heat wand it's the heat embossing wand It'll just um, burst any air bubbles in there and it helps to bring the cells up. I didn't want too many cells in this piece, but a few little champagne cells never hurt. Um, still adds to the effect, but the colours are really beautiful even at this stage. So what I'm adding now is just a bit more. This is the metallic gold. So I'm doing, you know, puddle pouring in this. That's the phalo blue or cool blue. It's a nice dark blue. Uh, so usually the blue and the um, gold will turn to green, but that's absolutely fine. That's that beautiful color called Tahiti. That's a really lovely color. They're all global colors. This one is just the turquoise by uh, Global Impasto Paints. The link is underneath in the drop down box. Um, as is my recipe for the paint mixing. What I'm adding here on top is just a bit of a cell activator, which is a, uh, Amsterdam black with a uh, flow troll added. And then I'm just blowing out with my mini hair dryer. It's called a baby Bailey, so I get asked all the time. I got this particular one uh, uh, from a charity store, so I've looked for them online and I cannot find them. I have got similar hair dryers in the um, drop down box in my Amazon store if you 
after a travel dryer. But look at those effects. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about floating botanical effects. They are absolutely gorgeous and I just love them. They were really lovely effects. And when I bring you down closer, you, which you must see, it's just so much more detailed and really um, definitely looks like a 3D floating there. So absolutely happy, happy with this one. And I hope you are enjoying it too, or give it a go. So what I'm deciding to do now is I thought I'm just going to embellish those corners and uh, bring up some beautiful feathering effects with my balloon rolls. And th there's so many lovely colours underneath there and I just knew they would look gorgeous being bought up. And um, that's exactly what I did. Look at the colours and just that balloon rolling creates it just uh, it just adds another bit to the whole thing it might be a little bit too much for somebody but it absolutely is gorgeous so i'm going to bring you down now and have a close-up going to bring you down for a close-up of these absolutely gorgeous effects these colors are absolutely magnificent together so I was just going to scrape a canvas that I'd been experimenting a different pour on but decided to use the colours and so happy I did because I certainly won't scrape this one, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, the effects in it, beautiful, look at that, these colours, that was the burnt umber and it really has made these blue greens absolutely shine the pop should i say it's got the little champagne cells it's beautiful then i just wanted to do the four corners with these light feathery balloon rolls so and it brought the color up from underneath just wonderfully so i'm really really happy with that I hope that you guys like that. It was, yeah, gonna be a scraper and turned into a keeper. So take care, my lovelies. Bye for now.